All right, we're back now, and uh, I have made had to make a couple of changes. Um, my daughter decided that she wanted to have her toaster uh, be uh, the 20 inch across rather than 20 inch up and down. She also decided that she wanted to uh, add bread to her toaster. So what I did was I found another photo. Let me get these photos. I'm here. And I printed a photo with bread. And then I worked with it to enlarge the uh, picture and to get an enlargement of the bread. And then I made a tracing of the bread. So again, it took a little bit of work to figure out the um, measurements and if you have a, um, a program and know how to manipulate that program so you don't have to do all of the gymnastics that I had to do then <laughs> by all means use it. So um, what I did was I erased the um, line drawing that we had which is one of the best reasons why we did not want to cover this um, surface yet with glaze to lock anything in because that would have locked in my line drawing and I couldn't have erased it. So you always want to check if you're doing this for a customer or uh, you want to check you know and make sure that you're happy with the orientation of your design before you cover anything over with glaze. So um, I traced it back on, do it back on and then before we start painting on it then I'm also going to draw in the two slices of bread. Okay. So, but what I have also done is I darkened the edges of the, and the corners of the canvas because we want the, um, the center of interest to be highlighted. So all of this is still light around here. But um, I left one corner undone just so I could uh, kind of show you how I do it. First of all, I put extender on the... Um, let me wet my brush a little bit. I put extender on the surface and I only do this in small areas at a time. So I'm going to just do this one corner and up these sides right here. And I'm going to put this uh, extender on um, a little farther out than where I'm going to put paint because extender dries from the outside in. So then I'm just going to uh, use a little bit of my raw umber. I'm going to put it over here on my palette. It's just out of camera range. And then I'm going to take my brush. Let me get that palette over here so you can see what I'm doing. Then I'm just going to take my brush and come in, you know, from the edge of the puddle and work it into my brush. I have a mop ready next to me and I'm going to slip slap it into the corner and come out a little bit. Just a little more and I'm going to come over around this way. Now coming out real far on uh, sides because since our orientation has changed we don't have as much uh, room on the sides now as we did and you want to set your paint down in the area you want the darkest and that would be in this corner okay so we've got our paint set down now I'm going to come in with my mop and I'm going to slip slap that mop a little bit and I'm going you know I, I'm blending it into this corner coming over here and blending this side up into this corner and then I'm coming back into my corner and smooth out this paint here. I want to make sure that my dark area stays in that corner but I'm going to smoothly blue blend out into these lighter areas. 
and if you find that you have too much paint in your brush then you want to wipe it off on a dry rag and come back in and smooth some more. Be sure you don't get this out too far because if you lose this light here then you're done. So if you find yourself coming out too far you've got extender on here and you can work with it. You want to tickle this now. You don't want to press because it's going to move your paint and really all you're trying to do now is smooth your paint. I've got a hair there. So now you're just trying to smooth your paint so hold back way back on your brush and just tickle it. That was as much pressure as maybe a cat's whisker on your hand. Something like that. Baby's eyelash. Wiping off your brush as necessary. Let me pull back on my handle here. Alright, so there's our four corners. Now if um, you decide you need just a little more paint along these sides, you can brush it on the, you know, quickly. You ha still have extender on there. Smooth it out. Smooth it into the corner area. Wipe your brush as necessary. Don't forget that part. I have also gone ahead and painted my ends all around in the uh, same value darkness as my corners. Yeah, we want you know these edges to be dark. Okay. So, going to let that dry. Okay. So, now what I want to do, I'm going to ha I have to uh, have this coming towards me so that I can see what I'm doing when I'm doing this tracing. And I'm going to go ahead and put this bread on and I think what I'd like to do is trim down this. I, I really like to use the clear mylar that I'm out of it.